Hello and welcome to this short video demonstrating how to use working papers within the SQL version of Audit Automation. My name is Richard McChesney and I am one of the product managers within Walters Kluwer Tax and Accounting. This video is one of three videos I've created relating to the SQL release of CCH Audit Automation. Firstly, I have made the assumption that you are already familiar with working papers within Audit Automation and are watching this video to learn what has changed in the SQL version. Documents are still created in the same way they always have been. If this is by dragging and dropping a document into the client, the document will automatically be checked in to the database. Once checked in, they are held securely within the database and can only be viewed or edited from within Audit Automation. To view a document, simply do as you have always done. The only difference is, you will be asked whether you want to check the document out for editing. Let's do this now. Let's start by double clicking on the document I want to open. I see a message here asking me if I want to open the document in read-only mode or whether I want to open it so that it can be checked out. If I click no, the document will open in read-only mode as shown at the top of the screen here. If I close that and then if I do it again, and this time if I click yes, the document will be checked out meaning that no one else can edit it while I have it open. Alternatively, I can right click on the document, select check out, and this effectively reserves the document against my name for editing purposes. In both cases, when a document is checked out, users will see that the icon has changed, and if they hover over the icon or the document name, they'll be able to see who checked the document out and when. When I'm finished editing the document, after saving it, to check the document back in, I will right click on the document name again and select check in. Also, because I'm logged on as the system manager, I have the option to undo a checkout. This option might be used by the system manager if a document was checked out by someone who is now unavailable and someone else needs the ability to edit it. If this was to happen, any changes not saved by the original person who checked the document out would be lost. Another thing worth noting is if I go to the user created documents, I will see down the bottom here I have three new buttons check out, undo check out for the system manager, and check in. These buttons work in the same manner as the right click options I've just shown you. Also, while a document is checked out, other users can still open the document as a read only, but it will not be up to date if the editing user has not checked in his or her changes. Now let's repeat the checkout process. But this time I'm going to open a spreadsheet that I know contains links to other documents that are also saved as working papers within Audit Automation. In this instance, I'm going to click yes to say that I want to edit the document. And I'm asked whether I want to download documents that are linked via hyperlink. If I check the box and click OK, you will notice that both the original document and the link document have been checked out automatically. I'm going to close that document now and I need to check both the documents back in when I'm finished. If I open the document this time and click yes again but this time I do not check the checkbox and just hit OK, you will notice that the document I've just opened is checked out, but the linked document is not. Now let's repeat the process. So I double click on this spreadsheet, and this time I'm going to say no when I'm prompted as to whether I want to open it for editing purposes or not. And you'll see this screen display. If I just click OK, what you find is that the spreadsheet is opened for read-only purposes as displayed at the top here, but most importantly, the hyperlink here doesn't work. And that is because I didn't choose to download hyperlinked documents. So let's do this again. Firstly, I'll click OK on the message and I'll close that document. And this time, when I go to double click on this file to open it, and I'll select No, but most importantly, 
I'll tick the box here to download the hyperlink documents. Click OK and now my hyperlinks will work. As I've mentioned, no one else can edit documents while you have them checked out. So please remember to check documents back in when you have finished editing and to always check documents back in before finishing work for the day. To help ensure that you do this, Audit Automation will prompt you when you close a client if you still have documents checked out. Let's look at this now. So I'm going to close Audit Automation altogether. Do I wish to close? Yes. And you'll see this message here saying that I've got documents still checked out. I'll click yes to check those documents back in. Thank you for watching this video demonstrating how to use working papers within the SQL version of Audit Automation. There are two other videos that I recommend that you watch if you haven't already done so. These are Introduction to SQL and Upgrading to SQL. All our videos, including the video series about the October 2016 Audit Automation release, are available in the What's New section of our website. If you have any further questions about the SQL version of Audit Automation, please do not hesitate to contact our support team. Lastly, please note it is not mandatory to upgrade to the SQL version. You can remain on the DBase version, which we expect to continue to support while there is reasonable demand.